हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन स्पर्धा परीक्षा चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो एज यू ऑल नो महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट हैज़ कॉल्ड फॉर बी एड सी ई टी एग्जामिनेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑन टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड फॉर यूर अपकमिंग महाराष्ट्र बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर महाराष्ट्र बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस वीडियो इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू हैज यू ऑल नो इन यूर बी एड सी ई टी एग्जामिनेशन देर इज वन यू वन सेक्शन दैट इज टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड सो ऑन टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड ऑल्सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट द टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड एम सी क्यूज हाउ द क्वेश्चन आर अराइजिंग हाउ टू सॉल्व इट सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्वेंटी फाइव एम सी क्यूज इन दिस सेशन सो लेट अस मूव एंड फ्रेंड्स बिफोर मूविंग टू यर टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड एम सी क्यूज इफ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर महाराष्ट्र बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो हियर वी हैव स्टार्टेड स्पर्धा परीक्षा सो फॉर यूर बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ क्रैश कोर्स इन दिस इन दिस क्रैश कोर्स यू विल गेट फुल सिलेबस वीडियो लेक्चर्स फुल सिलेबस फुल सिलेबस एम सी क्यू लेक्चर्स एंड यू विल ऑल्सो रिसीव टेन प्लस फुल सिलेबस मॉक टेस्ट एंड टू टू थाउजेंड प्लस प्रैक्टिस एम सी क्यू सेट इज अवेलेबल एंड फ्रेंड्स हियर द पी स्ट्रक्चर इज जस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन फॉर दिस क्रैश कोर्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट द नंबर इज गिवन इयर एट वन सेवन नाइन वन थ्री एट फोर वन थ्री एंड फ्रेंड्स इफ यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट टू दिस नंबर टू जॉइन द क्रैश कोर्स एंड ऑल्सो फ्रेंड्स यू कैन डाउनलोड अवर ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन ऐप फ्रॉम द प्ले स्टोर दिस ऐप इज अवेलेबल इन अवर ग्लो इन अवर प्ले स्टोर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू join you can also download this app and also if you have any confusion regarding our crash course uh, you can contact this number so let, now let us move to the question uh, and before moving to the questions here you can see our global online app in the play store so you can download it and uh, you can search uh, bed maharashtra bed cet then you will get uh, details regarding this course so now let us move to the questions here the first question is the core curriculum consists of option a subject matter children must learn in school option b subject offered by the school authorities option c total experiences in the school program option d unit and lesson plans prepare, prepared by the teachers and friends here the questions are also given in marathi you can go through it and here the question is saying that what is the core curriculum consist of so as you all know in every schools there will be curriculum so what does it include so the curriculum includes four options are given the option a is that subject matter children must learn in school so the option a is saying that whatever students are going to learn in the school that subject which subject they are going to learn what they are going to learn it is included in the uh, curriculum and option b is saying that subject offered by the school authorities what the school authority uh, school authorities are going to offer that will be included in the uh, curriculum and uh, option c is that saying that total experiences in the school program so our uh, children will get uh, experience in the schools so so the totality so total experiences whatever students are getting in school that uh, that is included in the curriculum and option d unit and lesson plans so as you all know before going for the actual classroom the teacher is going to prepare unit plan and also lesson plan and this is included in the curriculum so friends now i am giving you some seconds you can answer the question option a option b option c and option d you can comment in the comment box then we'll move to the answer so the core curriculum consists of yes here bharti is saying that option a is correct answer that is subject matter children must learn in school so uh, others also you can comment the answer so now it's time to move to the answer here the right answer is total experience in the school program uh, and friends uh, as you all know curriculum means yes uh, one student has answered option a yes you are right subject matter is also included in, in include in the curriculum but with this 
with the with subject matter whatever students are whatever experiences students are going to learn whatever experiences students are going to take here that also be included in the curriculum because here they have used the word total experience it, it means it includes subject matter also subjects offered by the authorities also and also plans or uh, lesson plans unit plans so everything is included in the curriculum so option c is the right answer here so i hope it is clear to you so if you go through the meaning of curriculum so by, uh, if you go through this definition then it is it will be more clear to you so curriculum includes whatever knowledge students are going to earn whatever skills the students are going to learn and attitude students are going to learn yes these these are all included in the curriculum and also not only physical education science social studies all other subjects are also included in the curriculum so it means whatever total experiences students are going to learn in the classroom in the school it is included in the curriculum so here option c will be the right answer so i believe it is clear to you all so let us move to the second question so question number 2 is sociology of education includes so what does it include in the sociology so as you all know there is there is a subject in the school called sociology so what does it does it include in education option a social relations by which individuals gain experience so option a, a is saying that whatever social experiences students are getting that is included in the sociology and option b is saying that social development in the country so whatever social social developments we are going to see in in the country that is included in the sociology yes, so many development so many sociological development will take place in the country then option c is saying that society and its relationship with the individual so what is the relations between the society and the student that is included in the sociology then option d is saying that communication of the individual with the society so how the students yes how the children are going to communicate with the society that is included in the sociology so here four options are given now all of you please go through the options clear carefully and answer the question so if you have any confusion in any option you can ask and the, uh, on the right side the questions are also there in marathi so here ba yes bharti is saying that uh, option 2 yes uh, sociology of education includes social development in the country so this answer is given by bharti so please go through the options once again and please give me the right answer so friends here sociology of education it includes yes so uh, it includes society and relationship with individuals yes please be clear about it sociology it means it includes everything about the society yes how the students are going to live in the society how they are behaving in the society yes how they are going to communicate with the society what is the relationship between so, uh, society and the development of the children so here everything is related to sociology so here option c is correct society and its relationship with the individual so uh, here option c is the correct answer so if you have any confusion please let me know sociology of education includes society and its relationship with the individuals so as you all know society is very determining factor of the uh, growth of the individuals or child so in this way for this uh, society is, uh, for this we are going to study sociology in sociology we will come to know what is the relationship between society and the children how society is determining the growth of the children so for the development of the children or students how sociology is going to help so uh, here sociology means it is the relationship between society and its uh, society and relationship of individual so i believe it is clear to you yes so yes here uh, for more information you can go, uh, 
you can go through it a uh, sociology of education it is defined as the study of relationship between education and society yes please mention uh, please try to remember it in sociology we are going to build the relationship between education and the society so the sociology of education refers to how individual experience shape the way they interact with schooling so social in sociology we are going to study how individuals how children are going to behave in the society they how they are going to behave with the other students that we are going to study in sociology so it is going to examine the ways in which individual experiences affect their educational achievement so how this society how the other people in the society how their friends how the other school mates they are going to affect the individual students experiences or children experiences or their educational achievement so here the option c is correct so now let us move to the question number 3 which of the following is not the source of educational finance so i believe you know about the educational finance so for many educational uh, for high, if you go through, if you go for the higher education you are going to take loan from the banks you will take loan from the other sources so education and loans are available so in year four options are given in these options which is not the source of educational finance so option a public funds option b local bodies fund option c educational cess option d relief fund so which one of the, uh, which one of the following is not the source of educational finance yes you can comment the answer so public funds as you all know when the government is going to spend huge amount of money for the education is yes, the government sometimes it will give pre education it will give pre books so many things Uh, will be provided free for the children so it is the major source of the by educational finance local bodies funds yes this is also a uh, main source for the educational finance yes our local local governments will also spend money on the uh, education and friends educational cess yes uh yes here payal is saying option d so yeah uh, and bharti is saying option c here educational cess so whatever the government is uh, going to earn revenue from this educational cess it is going to spend on the educational purpose only so this is also major source of the educational finance but friends when it comes to relief fund relief fund this is not the source of educational finance so here option d is correct so i hope it is clear to you so let us move to the question number 4 while deli while delivering lecture if there is some disturbance in the class then a teacher should so friends i uh, i will give you one uh, hint here so imagine you are a teacher and you are uh, giving lecture to the children and if some students are disturbing you or the students who are uh, sitting on the last bench they are going to disturb you then how you are going to control it and friends please remember whenever you are going to answer teaching aptitude questions imagine you are a teacher imagine you are in a classroom you are teaching to the children then you can solve the questions very easily so here while delivering a lecture if there is some disturbance in the class yes you are teaching so you are teaching to the children you are in a class some students are going to disturb you for your lecture then what you will do as a teacher what you are going to do option a keep quiet for a while and then go on so when students are going to disturb you you will you will uh, stand up silently you will keep quiet for a minute and you will continue your lecture this is option a then what option b is saying that not bother of what is happening in the class so whether the students whether the students are disturbing or they are listening you won't bother about it yes whenever students are going to disturb in your class you will not bother about them you will keep on going this is option b and what option c is saying punish those causing disturbance the students who are going to punish you you are going to sorry the students who are going to disturbance you disturb you you are going to punish them option d all of the above so uh, 
give your answer yes payal is saying option a so whenever uh, whenever students are going to disturb you in the class here the best method is yes the teacher has to keep quiet for a minute just you have to uh, stand up uh, stand up silently for a minute and students will also become silent so if you are in a teaching profession you can try this very helpful method it is so if students are disturbing you again and again so just keep silent for a minute and then continue your lecture this this is uh, surely i am going to tell you this is going to help you so option a is correct here because uh, option b if you won't bother about the disturbance it will be continued it will disturb to other other students so this is not correct and if you punish them again if you punish them again in the next class they will repeat repeat the same thing it will become habit for the students so instead of that so please keep quiet for a minute and the whole class will become silent then you can start the lesson so there option a is correct so i believe it is clear to you all Yes. Question number then. Question number five. National Education Day is observed on November eleven every year in the memory of. So I hope you all know about National Education Day. It is celebrated on November eleven every year. Then uh, in whose memory we are going to celebrate the National Education Day? Option A. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. ऑप्शन बी मौलाना अब्दुल कलाम आजाद ऑप्शन सी जाकिर हुसैन ऑप्शन डी महात्मा गांधी सो प्लीज कमेंट युअर आंसर्स दिस नेशनल एजुकेशन डे इज ऑब्जर्व इन द मेमोरी ऑफ Yes, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So please remember, option B is correct here. So we are going to uh, celebrate National Education Day every year uh, in the um, in the memory of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So option B is correct here. So friends, uh, as we all know, National Education Day it is celebrated on November 11 every year, and the uh, National Education Day we are celebrating since 2008. Please remember this point. Since two thousand eight, we are going to celebrate the National Education Day, and this we are going to celebrate uh, in the memory of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So on his birth anniversary, we are going to celebrate it. Sorry, on the birth anniversary of Independent India, we are going to celebrate the National Education Day. And please remember one more point here, uh, Abul Na. Uh, Yes, Maulana Abul Kalam was first education minister of independent India. Please remember it. A question may arise here. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad was first educational minister of independent India, and uh, he played a very significant role in shaping the education system of the country. Yes, friend. I, I, yes, friends. I believe it is clear to you. So, friends, if you are having if you are having any confusion, if you won't understand any options, you can just comment in the comment box. I will go through your comments. Yes, one more student has uh, student has joined. Rasika, yes, welcome to the global online Sparda Pariksha. So, let us move to the next question. So, question number six is child centered education means. Yes, child centered education means option A. Education liked by the children. So child centered education means uh, option A. Education liked by the children. Option B. Education liked by both children and teachers. Option C. Education geared to child's needs and aspiration. Option D. Education considered worthwhile and desirable by those who have a concern for their development. Yes, which is the right answer here. So, uh, please comment the correct answer in the comment box. Child centered education. Option A is saying that education, the it is the education system which is liked by the children. Option B is saying that education liked by both uh, teachers and children. Option C is saying that it uh, it is the education system according to the needs and aspirations of the children. and option d saying that it is a education desirable by those 
पर्सनालिटीज हु हैव अ कंसर्न फॉर एजुकेशनल डेवलपमेंट यस कमेंट्स आर कमिंग हियर ऑप्शन सी रिजवान इज सेइंग ऑप्शन ए यस एज आई टोल्ड यू व्हाइल वी आर आंसरिंग फॉर टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चंस थिंक यू आर इन द क्लास think uh, please think uh, in the place of children then you will get the answers very easily yes payal you are right here the right answer is option c education geared to child's needs and aspiration so child centered education means this system of education is prepared according to needs of the children yes yeah, ch- ch- and according to needs of the children and also according to the expectation of the children according to aspirations of the children this system of education is only for the development of the children so here we are going to consider their needs so here option c is the right answer so option a is not correct because education liked by the children it means here edu- uh, the education system which is prepared according to the child's needs it is it is liked by the children so here option c is correct answer so here you can go through it yes child centered education means giving primacy to children's experiences their voices their active participation so in child centered education we are going to give more importance for the children's experiences children's voices and their active participation yes rizwan if you have any confusion please uh, comment in the comment box so and this kind of education requires us uh, plan learning in keeping with children psychological development and interest so while preparing the curriculum we need to go through children psychological development and also children's interests and child centered education is also known as the learner centered education please remember it it means that planning and transacting curriculum in the classroom in a way that allows for flexibility in the pace and style of learning keeping in the mind that children in a classroom are widely different so in child centered education so it is completely based on the children's needs so here we must remember that in uh, in a classroom there are variety uh, there are the students are widely different as yes, different kinds of students will be there in uh, each classroom so we have to give importance to, uh, importance to the each one's views so in this way it is about uh, child centered education so therefore child centered education suggests an approach of teaching different from the existing practice of having a uniform curriculum uniform learning material and activities uniform time uniform instructional and evaluation strategies for the whole class so here in child centered method we are going to follow yes uniform learning materials uniform means for all the children the same time will be followed for all the children uh, the same instructions will be given same evaluation strategies will be used so yeah, and here the curriculum will be flexible according to children's needs and here various methods will be used in teaching and ch- children are also taking various learning experiences they will participate in various activities and we here a uh, various methods of assessing children progress so for evaluation also there are many uh, methods are there so this is about child centered education so here so option c is the right answer here so if you have any confusion you can ask me i believe it is uh, you are clear about this question next question number 7 a teacher who is not able to draw the attention of his students should option a uh, ev- evaluate is uh, evaluate is teaching method and improve it option b resign from the post option c find fault in his pupils option d start dic- dictating a teacher who is not able to draw the attention of his students so sometimes it will happen in class uh, the teacher is unable to Uh, uh drag the attention of the student so then what teachers should do option a evaluate his teaching method and improve it 
ऑप्शन बी रिजाइन फ्रॉम द पोस्ट टीचर हैज टू रिजाइन फ्रॉम द पोस्ट ऑप्शन सी ही हैज टू फाइंड पॉट्स इन यू स्टूडेंट्स ऑप्शन डी ही हैज टू स्टार्ट डिक्टेटिंग द नोट सो विच इज द करेक्ट आंसर यर सो वेन एवर यस यर आंसर्स आर कमिंग अ टीचर हु इज नॉट एबल टू ड्रॉ द अटेंशन Yes, friend. Ah, uh, please remember if if the teacher is unable to draw the attention of the students, it means ah uh, it is not the fault of the students. There may be some fault from the teacher also. So what yeah uh, what teacher has to do? Teacher must evaluate his teaching methods, and he has to improve it. So we are nowadays we are using telecast materials. Yes, so we are using so many instructional mat materials. so we started using projectors charts so all these we have to use in order to draw the attention from the students so in this way if a teacher is unable to get attention from the students a teacher has to evaluate his techniques he has to evaluate his teaching methods if it is not working he has to change the teaching methods sometimes teachers children or students will be bored with only theories in that case he can use so he can use charts he can he can show pictures yes he can uh, teach by using any activities so in this way if a teacher is unable to draw the attention he must evaluate his teaching method and he has he, he must try to improve it so option a is correct here is yes, let us move to the yes here pahal namrata has answered right question uh, right answer right option so question um, uh, yes here you can go through it uh, if you want explanation a teacher who is not able to draw the attention of his student should evaluate his teaching methods because every student differs from others yes because in child uh, in previous slide only we have discussed about child centered education yes there the assumption that uh, the every tier student is different from the others and we teacher must know psychological aspects of the students he must know intelligence level of the children he must know personality of the children then according to that he has to design his teaching methods so here every child has different pace of learning some will learn fast some will learn very slow so we have to consider every one's views then methodology helps teacher to involve children in constructing their own knowledge through experiences so in this way by using his teaching methods the teacher should give appropriate knowledge to the students so if he is unable to draw the attention then he can uh, rethink about his teaching methods he has to improve is yes, question number 8 if majority of students in your class are weak you should yes you are a teacher and most of the students are very weak in studies then what you are going to do option a not care about the intelligent of intelligent student so uh, if majority of the students are weak you don't care care about the students who are very intelligent you will just focus on uh, on the students who are weak option b is saying that keep your speed of teaching fast so that students comprehension level may increase so what you are going to do you are going to teach in a very fast way students will try to understand with your past level of teaching so this is option b and option b is saying that keep your teaching slow you have to teach very slowly for intelligent students also for uh, weak students also and what what option d is saying keep your teaching slow along with some extra guidance to the bright students so if majority of the students are weak in your class then you should option d is saying that you have to teach very slow for these weak students and also the students who are intelligent for them you must give extra guidance so now uh, you can comment the answer option a option b option c and option d yes here uh, yes namrata here option d is correct yes when when the stu, most of the students are weak in your class what teacher has to do teacher must teach slow but you should not uh, ignore intelligent students also 
so he has to teach very slowly uh, so these weak students uh, can learn but also uh, he should not uh, ignore these intelligent students for them he must give extra guidance so here option d is perfect Yes. Uh, next, uh, so here, if the majority of the students in your class are weak, the teacher should keep uh, keep the teaching slow along with extra guidance to the bright students. Because as we all know, every student differ from the others. Some will learn fast, some will learn slow. But we have to give, the, we have to consider all the children in the classroom. So the teacher can teach very slow to the weak students and he can also give a extra guidance to the intelligent students. So these intelligent students will also not get bored. So they will be busy in constructing knowledge. Yes, question number nine. Which of the following is the most important single factor in underlying the success of beginning a teacher? So, which of the following is the most important factor in underlying the success of the beginning of a teacher? So, you have, you have entered recently, imagine you have, you have entered recently in a teaching profession. Then, which factor is going to determine your success? Please, thi uh, please think you are in a teaching profession and answer this question. Option A, scholarship. Option B, communicative ability. Option C, Personality and its ability to relate to the class and to the pupils. Option D. Organizational ability. Yes, in the beginning of the teaching profession, which one is the very important determ success determining factor? Yes, there is no relationship with the scholarship. Yes, then communicative ability. How you are going to communicate with the students? Then option C, personality and its ability to relate to the class and to the pupils. Option D, organizational ability. Yes, yeah, yes, correct. Here the right answer is option C, personality and its ability to relate to the class and to the pupils. So the teacher must have this kind of uh, experience. He must know how to relate the things to the class. How to relate the things to the students. So his personalities, his experiences. Yes, he must relate to the class and pupils. So here option C is right. Yes, here a successful teacher is one who has long lasting impact on the lives of students. And sustains the power to inspire students. So if the if teacher want, want, wants to get success, he must... Uh, give long lasting impact on the teacher. So for this he must inspire his, inspire his students. So for this teacher must know how to relate the things to the class and to the pupils. So to measure the success of a teacher it is the way in which he or she remembered and cherished in the minds of their students. So a great teacher in, inspires students at every path of their life. So please remember it, a teacher has to inspire his students. Yes, let us move to the question number 10. If some of your pupils misbehave with you in the college campus, you must. Yes, uh, in, your, uh, in your college or in your school campus, some students are misbehaving with you. Then as a teacher, what you are going to do? Option A, report to the principal. Option B, report to their parents. Option C, improve their behavior by your own character and scholarship. Option C, option D, mobilize other teachers against their guides. So which is the right answer? So some students are not behaving good with you in the classroom or in the college campus. As a teacher, what you are going to do? Yes, dear friends, if you want any improvement in our, in our video lectures, if I, am, if I am going very slow, if I am going very fast, yes, how you want the lecture, please comment in the comment box. Yes, your comments, your views are very valuable to us. Yes, okay. So here, the right answer is option C. Improve their behavior by your own character. So if the students are not behaving good with you, 
so uh, you should there, there is no point of reporting to the principal you should not report to their parents so in they according to their age yes you must improve them with your own character so you act as a good person then students will also follow you so in their age children will also will try to imitate others they will try to follow others so if you are a good if you are if you are having a good personality students will also follow you so if stu some students are misbehaving with you in the college campus you must improve their behavior by your own character you treat them good so if they are misbehaving also you treat the students in a good manner then automatically they will improve their behavior so option c is the correct here yes and also there are uh, some methods to handle the bad students uh, we cannot say bad student we are there are some other methods to handle such students who are misbehaving for example bring difficult students close to you then talk to them in private then be the role model for such students then define right from wrong just try to convince them yes start uh, try to give them knowledge about knowledge about which is right and which is wrong and focus on re more on rewards than punishment don't go to punish them yes you give rewards to them inspire them motivate them then adopt the peer tutor technique try to understand their problem then you can become a good teacher this yes, question number 11 if back benchers are always talking in the classroom a teacher should option a let them do what they are doing option b punish them option c ask them to sit on the front benches option d none of the above so comment the answer and friends if you are preparing for uh, ma ma maharashtra uh, bed cet exam so we have a crash course here in this crash course you will attend 10 mock tests so these mock tests are very helpful for your preparation i believe if you attend these 10 mock tests your confidence level is going to increase you will crack the examination very easily so whenever you are going to attend mock test uh, you will come to know in which section you are uh, you are having less knowledge in which section you are having more knowledge so the mock tests are very helpful to assess your preparation so not only mock test with mock test we are having video lectures we are having mcq lectures so everything is available you at very minimum price so i if you are preparing for um, maharashtra's bed cet please go through our crash course then i believe surely you are going to crack the examination so here please comment the answer uh, if back benchers are always talking uh, in the classroom a teacher should option a let them do what they are doing option b punish them so in the previous slide only we discussed we should not punish the students instead of that we should try to give them rewards option c ask them to sit on the front bench yes very good here namrata pragati has answered option c so option c is the correct here ask the ask them to sit on the front bench so the students who are sitting on the last bench and disturb into the class if you ask them to sit on the first bench on the front bench so they will sit quietly they will listen to the class so generally if you observe in any class the students who will sit on the first bench they listen carefully but sometimes children who are sitting on the last bench they try to disturb so if you ask them to sit on the first bench the problem will be solved so option c is correct here yes next question number 12 use of telecast materials such as radio television and all so option a enhances concentration and learning option b reduces the burden of the teacher option c increases retention power option d all of the above so a yeah, teacher uses many telecast materials in the classroom he uses projector teacher uses radio sometimes teacher uses video clips for some time so why is going to use such telecast materials so comment the answer in the comment box
yes here some are saying option a some are saying option c yes use of telecast materials option a enhances concentration and learning yes if you, if the teacher is using uh, telecast material in the classroom such as if he is using radio or if he is using a projector or if he is using a television yes the student con concentration will be increased and they will learn in more effective way so this is also correct here and uh, option b reduces the burden of the teacher this is also correct friends because whenever teacher is going to use such telecast materials uh, for example uh, if the teacher is going to teach something so if he going to uh, on this on that concept if he show if he shows a video to the children so it is going to reduce the burden of the teacher so he can give less explanation then because the student will also understand in a more effective way by observe by uh, through this telecast material then increase yes uh, increase the retention power so as we have observed, as we have experienced whenever we are going to listen to the class sometimes we for we forget only half you will remember but whenever we watch a movie yes uh, for for long time you will remember the scenes and all so here uh, option d is right so priya has said option d here rasika has said option d so yes correct option d is correct here all of the above are correct so why teacher uses tele telecast materials to enhance the concentration and learning reduce the burden of the teacher increase the retention power option d is the all of the above are correct here Yes, telecast material means I told you know television, radio, newspapers, magazines, etc. These are also these are all known as the telecast materials. Yes, let us move to the question number thirteen. Option A, a teacher. Option A should introduce the lesson before he starts teaching. Yes, before he is going to start the lesson. He has before he is, he is going to start the teaching. He must introduce the lesson. Option B should have command over his language. So in his language, he must have good command. Option C should have command over his subject also. The teacher should also have command over the subject. Option D all of the above. That's very easy questions. So in B L C T examination, you get. these type of questions yes here all are saying option d yes you are right here option d is the correct answer before going to start the teaching teacher must introduce about the lesson and the teacher must have good command over the language and the teacher must have good command over the subject also so here option d is the right answer yes and also there are some good qualities of the teacher teachers are strong communicators teachers must listen to the students teachers also focus on the collaboration teachers should be adaptable teachers are engaging they should show empathy to the students teachers must have uh, patience teachers must add value to the real world so these are other qualities of good teacher Yes. Question number fourteen. If students are not able to follow, you should. Yes. Yes. If if students are not able to follow, the teacher should. Option A. Give them prompt. Option B. Make the matter easy. Option C. Illustrate with examples. Option D. All of the above. Yes, friends, and if, uh, to gain confidence on this teaching aptitude units, so you must solve more and more MCQs. Then your confidence level will be increased. It's yes, very easy questions we have taken today. If students are not able to follow, the teacher should he should give give them prompt and also he should teach it in a very easy manner. and also teacher should give some more examples to the student so here option d is the correct all of the above is the right
yes priya is saying option c will illustrate with example yes this is also correct with this teacher should also try to teach the subject in an easy way when he can teach us in an easy way if he gives examples then students will understand in a better way so option c is also correct option b is also correct here and give uh, give them prompt teacher should also give them prompt to give prompt to the students so your option d is correct all of the above are correct here so if you have any confusion you can comment in the comment box so yes namrata option d is right priya rasika i i believe it is clear to you yes question number 15 if remarks are passed by students on you has the teacher you will yes imagine you are a teacher and some students are going to pass remarks on you what you are going to do option a you are going to punish them option b you will expel them from the college option c take revenge while evaluating internal test copies Yes, while uh, evaluating their papers, you will take revenge. Means you will give them less marks, or you or some other revenges you can take. You will pay them. Option D: Be impartial at the time of evaluation. Yes, very good. All all are saying option D. Yes, whenever students are going to pass the remarks, yes, you should act in a good manner only. so you have to convert their behavior by becoming a role model role model to the student so if you become a role model yes and uh, if you will show good attitude to the students then students will automatically follow you so if you if you punish them it won't work so don't expel the students from the college and you you must not take revenge on the students as a good teacher so while you are evaluating you should be impartial at the time of evaluation so option d is correct yes question number 16 if a teacher is not able to answer the question of a pupil he should yes sometimes yeah, sometimes the teacher is also unable to answer the question which is asked by the students at that time what teacher a teacher has to do so here our questions are also there in marathi you can go through it so if a teacher or uh, the teacher teacher is unable to answer the question which is raised by the students at that time what teacher can do option a say that he will answer after the consultation option b rebook the pupil option c say that the question is wrong option d feel shy of his ignorance it's very easy question whenever teacher is a uh, teacher uh, doesn't know the answer which is raised right by the uh, by the students during that time teacher can say, uh, say say that he will answer after the consultation or after the class or in the next class yes sometimes teacher teacher also uh, doesn't know the answer yes there is nothing wrong he can uh, search or he can get the answer and he can say in the next class but the only thing is he has to convince the students in a proper way he should not try to escape he should not say that the question is wrong he must not feel shy so uh, he must say that he will answer in answer after the consultation yes option a is the right answer yes very good all of your answering correctly question number 17 micro teaching is useful to students of option a primary classes only option b junior classes only option c 10 plus 2 classes only option d higher classes and primary classes both yes answer now answer for question number 17 micro teaching it is useful for primary class junior class 10 plus 2 class higher class and primary class so yeah as you all know in bed you are you are having a subject called micro teaching 
देर आर वेरियस क्या स्किल्स आर देर ऑन ईच स्किल्स यू गिव लेसन यस द राइट आंसर इज यस ऑप्शन डी यस हायर क्लासेस एंड प्राइमरी क्लासेस बहुत यस रिमेम्बर स्टूडेंट दिस माइक्रो टीचिंग इट इज अ टीचर ट्रेनिंग टेक्निक यस यर टीचर्स आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू टीच टीचर्स आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरियस टीचिंग स्किल्स सो यर टीचर्स विल डेवलप वेरियस स्किल्स and teachers are going to get deeper knowledge about the art of teaching and uh, micro teaching is going to teach to the students about the art of the teaching that is how to teach how to control the students yes how to give knowledge how to draw the attention of the students everything we are going to learn here so option c d is right here for higher class also for primary also for all the classes micro teaching is helpful here this is helpful for it is a teacher training techniques so for the, uh, let uh, uh, let the students in primary or junior it doesn't matter it is helpful for both higher class and primary class yes is it clear bar clear bharti who said option a yes option d is higher classes and also primary class for both the classes micro teaching is helpful yes so and there is a procedure of micro teaching says yes. many times in many examination this question has arise micro teaching plan uh, micro teaching process here the uh, process is plan teach feedback then replan reteach repeatback yes this is the process of micro teaching yes please remember it sometimes questions will be asked on this to rearrange they will give the uh, these uh, pro this process of yeah for in of four options you have to choose the correct order plan teach feedback then replan reteach repeatback very easy to remember question number 18 a teacher in the class he is option a the president of the group option b a director of the group option c a leader and guide of the group option d all of the above yes uh, comment the answer for question number 18 Yes, uh, Shivani D, Payal C. Yes, option C is correct here. Yes, listen, Sh Shivani. Uh, why option D is not correct? Because a teacher. Yes, uh, listen here. Director means the person is going to give only directions. he will not get there is a difference between direction and guide please understand it then you can solve this question the director means direction means he is going to give direction he won't guide guide means the teacher is also involving with the students he will he is, he is also helping the students to find answers for the problem but direction means teacher will not involve he is just going to uh, direct the students so here the president of the group no it is not linked here so here option c is correct answer a leader and and guide of the group a teacher he is the leader for the students and also is going to guide the students so option d is sorry option c is correct here so i think it is clear to shivani yes question number 19 the most appropriate meaning of learning is option a inculcation of knowledge option b modification of behavior option c personal adjustment option d acquisition of skills yes now an uh, answer for question number 19 the most appropriate meaning of learning is 
ऑप्शन ए सेइंग दैट इंकलकेशन ऑफ नॉलेज स्टूडेंट इज गोइंग टू अर्न द नॉलेज हियर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इज अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज ऑप्शन बी इज मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द बिहेवियर इज गोइंग टू चेंज इज बिहेवियर ऑप्शन सी सेइंग दैट पर्सनल एडजस्टमेंट ऑप्शन डी इज ओनली गेनिंग द स्किल्स द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट मीनिंग ऑफ लर्निंग समर सेइंग ऑप्शन डी ऑफ समर सेइंग ऑप्शन सी फाइल ए इस यस ए सी डी आंसर्स आर कमिंग बट नो वन इज सेइंग ऑप्शन बी एंड लिसन योर फ्रेंड्स द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट ऑफ लर्निंग मीन्स यस प्लीज रिमेंबर लर्निंग मीन्स इट इज नॉट द ओनली एक्टिविटी ऑफ गेटिंग नॉलेज यस इट इज नॉट द एक्टिविटी ऑफ ओनली लर्निंग द स्किल्स यस आफ्टर आफ्टर गेटिंग द नॉलेज student must include this knowledge in his behavior yes children must inculcate this knowledge in his behavior there must be behavioral changes in the children's behavior then after le- learning the skills if, uh, for example if the teach if the children learns the skills and if he keep the le- ch- uh, skills with him is it having any value no he must use his skills in his behavior by learning these skills uh, for example if he learns communication skills he must use those communication skills in getting a job or while dealing with the uh, in the society so whatever students are going to learn yes and personal adjustment it is also part of the behavior so whatever knowledge students are getting they must bring desirable changes good changes in the behavior whatever skills they are going to learn they should adopt all these skills in their daily life then what is personal adjustment it is also part of the behavior so here the most appropriate meaning of learning is modification of behavior option b is correct here so i believe it is clear to all yes shivani option b is correct some uh, some here give a d and c yes i believe it is clear so here you can go through the explanation also yes learning means it is the act or the process of imparting acquiring general knowledge developing the powers of reasoning see here it is not the activity of only acquiring the knowledge it is also developing in their behavior yes so the students must develop the power of reasoning when they are going to develop it when they are bringing desirable changes in the behavior and generally preparing oneself or others intellectually for mature life so here whatever students are going to earn the knowledge skills and etc they must inculcate in their behavior so here option b is correct modification of the behavior yes again pragati is saying option d so option b is correct modification of the behavior do you have any confusion here yes if you have any confusion please comment in the comment box Yes. Question number twenty. Teacher's primary responsibility lies in. Yes. Teacher's primary responsibility lies in option A. Planning educational experiences. Option B. Implementing policies. Option C. Keeping students' records. Option D. All of the above. Yes. What is the responsibility of teachers? Yes. Which one is the main responsibility of teachers means teacher is going to plan the educational experiences yes he must this is the main responsibility option b implementing policies option c keeping students records option d all of the above please go through the options very carefully please read all the 
options twice don't give the answers in a hurry first read all the questions then think 10 to 20 uh, 5 to 10 seconds about the option then you will get the answer the question is teachers primary responsibility is main responsibility is yes teachers main responsibility is planning the educational experiences so this is the main responsibility of the student of the teacher then keeping the records yes implementing the policies these are also part of the responsibility of the teachers but which is the main and very important responsibility that is planning educational experiences how to teach the students how to plan the material how to give the notes yes this is correct here so option these are also uh, responsibility of the to of the teacher implementing policies keeping students records but what is the main aim to teach well to teach in an effective way to bring desired changes in the behavior of the students so this is the main goal that is uh, planning educational experiences so option a is correct here yes any confusion yes most of the students have answered option d so if you have any confusion please let me know keeping students records it is also responsibility of the teacher but not very important yes it is least but main responsibility is planning the educational experiences so if uh, i believe you don't have any confusion here again pragati is saying d what is your confusion primary responsibility meant which is main responsibility so option c is correct here planning educational experiences means how the teacher is going to give notes to the students how he is going to teach in the classroom yes which telecast materials he will use which teaching method he is going to adopt these are all included in the planning educational experiences so option a is correct here again some students are saying c and d yes any confusion option a is correct and friends if you are preparing for maharashtra bed cet exam yes the global online spardha pariksha Uh, has uh, launched a crash course here in this crash course you will receive 10 mock tests these 10 mock tests are very helpful to assess your preparation level i believe if you attend all these 10 uh, 10 mock tests uh, your confidence level will be increased i am sure you are going to correct all the teaching aptitude questions in your bed examination and also in these mock tests are available on the entire syllabus other sections are also included in the test so this are uh, these tests are available at very minimum price with this notes are available video lectures are available mcq lectures pdfs are available for quick revision so if you join you will get the pdf of this lecture not only this lecture many lectures pdf you will get for quick revision yes uh, i i think you don't have any confusion in question number 20 so let me move to question number 21 so another five questions we are going to discuss in this session question number 21 site stands for c i e t option a center for integrated education and technology option b central institute for engineering and technology option c central institute for education technology option d center for integrated evaluation technique it's memory based question you must remember the full form of ciet yes you can comment the answer yes here the right answer is option c central institute for education technology Yes, CIT stands for Central Institute for Education Technology. Option C is correct. Yes, Shivani. Option C is right answer. 
this is the central institute for educational technology remember it is an autonomous organization and please remember it is formed under the ncrt that is national council of educational research and training and here the main uh, main uh, purpose of cit is promote the media technology in education and also improve the quality of education at school level please remember some questions may arise here cit stands for central institute of educational technology it is an autonomous body it is formed under ncrt the main purpose is use of mass media in education and also improving uh, quality of education at school level these points you must remember question number 22 the first virtual university of india came up in again memory based question option a andhra pradesh option b maharashtra option c uttar pradesh option d tamil nadu this the first virtual university four options are given here yes here the right answer is option d tamil nadu yes the the near the first virtual university was established in tamil nadu its name was virtual academy tamil virtual academy it is formally known as the tamil virtual university and it is a distance education institution it is located in chennai tamil nadu yes tamil nadu is the right answer this yes, question number 23 effective teaching is function of effective teaching is function of option a teacher satisfaction teachers must be set, uh, teachers must be satisfied by their teaching option b teachers honesty and commitment yes effective teaching teaching uh, effective teaching means teachers uh, must teach honestly and uh, with the commitment option c teachers making students learn and understood understand so whatever teachers are going to teach it must be understood by the students then fourth one option d teachers liking for professional excellence yes all are seeing c here all are c ka shivani is seeing option c yes you are correct effective teaching is whatever teacher is going to teach to the student students must understand it then it is known as the effective teaching so option c is correct Yes, Jasmeet. Go. Yes, option C is the right. Yes, question number twenty-four. Verbal guidance is the least effective in the learning of option A, aptitude. Option B, skills. Option C, relationships. Option D, real. Uh, yes, option D is relationship. Option A is aptitude. Option B is skills. option c is attitude and option d is relationship verbal guidance is least effective yes here the right answer is option b skills is the right answer so whenever you are going to teach skills to the students means you have to you are, you are going to act practically here so you need to perform with the student so here in learning of skills the verbal a verbal guidance is least effective yes very good option b is the right answer yes today's last question question number 25 the teacher has been glorified by the press friend philosopher and guide because yes the teacher has been glorified by the press friend philosopher and guide because option a he has to play all vital roles in the context of society option b he transmits the high value of humanity to the students 
ऑप्शन सी इज द ग्रेट रिफॉर्मर रिफॉर्मर ऑफ द सोसाइटी ऑप्शन डी इज अ ग्रेट पेट्रियॉट गो थ्रू द ऑप्शन वेरी केयरफुली प्लीज रीड द प्रेस यू विल कम टू नो फ्रेंड फिलोसॉफर एंड गाइड एस पायल सी शीतल ए एस बादल सिंह सी and friends whenever the these kinds of questions will come where you feel all the options are correct so in that case what you can do you can go through the question in your medium means you can read the question once in your mother tongue that is in marathi then clearly you will understand yes the teacher has been glorified by the by the praise friend philosopher and guide because he transmits the high value of humanity to the students yes option b is correct here yes yes the teacher why is known as the friend yes he is giving a uh, good level high level high level uh, yes he is going uh, he is transmitting high value of humanity so is known as the friend philosopher and also guide because he is transmitting the high value so he is, the teacher is trying to bring behavioral changes good behavioral changes in the students so he is known as the friend philosopher and guide so remaining options are also seems correct here but the main is why teacher is known as the philosopher or guide for whom we are going to call a guide who uh, the person who is going to uh, give high value of humanity in, uh, or moral values humanity values to us he is known as the guide so he is also philosopher friend so option b is correct here yes so uh, many are saying option a any confusion here he has to play all vital roles in the context of society yes teacher will play will play many roles in the society with that again one more important thing is yes he is giving very high value of humanity to the students yes option b this this is very nearly linked with the praise friend philosopher and guide option b is correct here yes any confusion here yes is it clear question number 25 this yes, i think it is clear to you and uh, this is about our today's session and friends if you are preparing for bed cet 2022 here global online spardha pariksha uh, has bought you a crash course complete crash course so in this crash course you will get uh, full syllabus video lectures full syllabus mcq lectures 10 entire syllabus mock tests are available 2000 plus practice mcq set we are providing only at very minimum fee that is 500 so if you want to join you can download global online app from play store and just contact 8179138413 you can just send a whatsapp message to this huh then uh, you will uh, give you information about the complete crash course yes pahal is saying that thank you sir lecture was very informative and helpful yes thank you very much and please remember our uh, daily now we are going to give you some lectures and remember these lectures are free of cost you no uh, no need to pay for these lectures daily uh, at 7 o'clock we are going to come live so you can uh, try to adjust your uh, time so be in the live class so in this way we have to participate all the days uh, listen friends to in order to get success there should be cons uh, consistent efforts you should put effort continuously so try to attend the classes daily so for your welfare we are providing these classes daily we are going to come live at 7 yes thank you all uh, so if you want to join for the crash course you can contact you just send a whatsapp message you will get clear information 8179138413 yes i wish all the best to all thank you and friends if you want any improvements in our lectures if you want to add anything 
if i am going to fast or if i am going to slow any improvements please feel free to comment in the comment box thank you